This is the new Olight Baton 3 Pro. Let's get into it. All right, guys, now before we get into the video, I wanted to mention that Olight is having their O Fan Day from September 20th through 23rd. First off, you can get the Baton 3 Pro for only $49.99. You can also get up to 45% off of select items. And if you are new to Olight and haven't placed an order before, you can make an account and get an i3e in antique bronze for completely free. Now, if you have placed an order before, you can get an i Morse in gunmetal gray for completely free. Now, even if you miss that sale, you can still get 10% off anything on the Olight web store besides the X9R using the coupon code AP arms link in description included is the light user manual a color coordinated felt bag a mount and the magnetic charging cable all right so here it is this is the new baton 3 pro it is available in three different colors black desert tan and od green and here i have the desert tan starting off at the front you can see your lens here and this lens is an odd shape but it's a really nice looking crystal clear lens and it gives you a really good beam profile you also have this black inner bezel here and this also gives you your led information including the temperature for the led and you can see right here it says cw that stands for cool white there are two different versions of this light there's a cool white and a neutral white and i'll get more into the differences here in a little bit going back to the lens another really impressive thing is that this light does have a proximity sensor and they've done a really good job at hiding it below the lens and the reflector you can't see it at all in previous models there used to be a little bump here and that would have a pinhole which would clearly be the proximity sensor but on this model it's hidden quite well moving down to the side you can see there is your side switch now this is how you operate the light it's a nice clicky rubber button and it also has an LED status indicator right in the center of it green is good orange is starting to get a little low and then red is ready to charge also around the button you can see there is a nice little black ring there flipping it around here is your removable pocket clip now it is a two position pocket clip you can either carry it tip down or tip up using the two different options here it can also be used to clip onto the brim of a hat and use as a hat light and i did mention that this is a removable pocket clip you can see it unclips here from the light down a little bit farther are your markings and then here is the grip texturing it's a really nice aggressive grip it allows you to get good grip on the Light even with wet or slippery hands. Down at the bottom is your magnetic charging port. Now this is how you charge up a flashlight using the included magnetic charging cable. So you never need to worry about taking the battery out. And on the magnetic charging cable, there is a status LED to show you when the light is fully charged or when it is still charging. Red means that it is still charging while green means that it is fully charged. And speaking of the battery, to get to it, we can just go ahead and unscrew the main body of the flashlight. And you can see right here is a waterproof seal. All right, and here's the battery. This is a 3.6 volt 18650 with 3200 milliamp hours of capacity. All right, and reinstallation is just as easy. Slide it into the main body, and then you screw it back together. Now I wanted to go over this included stand for a second. You can see you have this adhesive pad here. Now after you peel that, it's designed to be stuck to the wall and stuck in this orientation. Then you can just basically hang the light from it. And just grab it and go whenever you need it. They also give you a replacement pad if you need to peel this off or if you want to switch orientation and have it a different direction. All right, and here I wanted to show the differences between the neutral white and the cool white LEDs. You can see I have both lights here. One on the left is the neutral white and the one on the right is the cool white. So if we start with the one on the left, all right, and here you can see with that neutral white, it's going to be a really good, clean color. It's not going to be very cool or very warm. It's going to be right in the middle. And on the right, let's go ahead and turn on the cool white. Now you can see a big difference here. You can see that the cool white is a much bluer color. The main differences that I've found in using these two colors is the neutral white is going to give you a lot better color reproduction, whereas the cool white will give you just more sheer brightness. All right, and let's go over how this light operates. Obviously, the only way you interface with this light is this main switch on the side. And if we go ahead and hold the switch, it'll enter moonlight mode. 
All right, and going from moonlight mode, if I just hold the switch, you can see that it will cycle between low, medium, and high. Whenever you see the output that you want, you just let go of the switch. Now, if you want to get into turbo mode, all you do is you double tap the switch. Next, if I triple tap the switch, it'll bring me over into strobe mode. You can also lock this flashlight out. So if I hold the switch, you can see that it will enter moonlight and then it will turn off. And now if I press the switch, nothing happens. The only way to remove that is to continue holding the switch again and then it'll enter back into moonlight mode and now the light is fully operational. And I previously mentioned this, but this also has a proximity sensor. So if you're either in high or turbo mode, the moment you bring it close to an object, it'll dim down. You can also disable the proximity sensor because sometimes when it is raining or if you want to shine through glass, anything that gets really close to it's going to trip the proximity sensor. So if you want to disable it, all you would do is bring it close to something. And then within five seconds of it dipping down, just double tap it. And now you can see the proximity sensor is disabled. Turning the light off and on again will reactivate the proximity sensor. This light also has a timer built into it. To use the timer, bring it into your desired setting and double tap and hold the switch. Now you noticed it blinked once, that means it has a three minute timer set. If you want a little bit longer, you can do the same thing and it will blink twice and that will give you a nine minute timer. All right, now let's get into some of the brightness specifications. Starting out in moonlight mode, this has a brightness of only half a lumen, but it also has a runtime of 120 days straight. Holding the switch in the low, this has a brightness of 15 lumens and it has a runtime of 100 hours. Holding the switch again into medium, this has a brightness of 120 lumens and a runtime of 17 hours. Holding the switch again into high, now we have a brightness of 600 lumens and a runtime of 180 minutes. And after that 180 minutes, it'll step down to 120 lumens and it will run then for an additional 25 minutes. All right, and then double tapping in the turbo mode, and this has a brightness of 1500 lumens and it'll run continuously at 1500 lumens for two minutes. And then after that two minutes, it'll step down to 600 lumens and run for an additional 177 minutes. Also in turbo mode, you have a maximum throw of 175 meters. And then triple tapping in the strobe mode, you can see just how bright that is. That's super bright. And that also uses that 1500 lumen brightness. All right, and going over a couple specs here, it has a length of 3.99 inches, a width of 0.91 inches at the bezel, a weight of 3.6 ounces, and that's including the battery. It is IPX8 waterproof rated, and it has a one and a half meter drop test rating. All right, and here I wanted to show you a quick comparison between this light and a normal size EDC flashlight. This is the M2R Pro Warrior, and it's what I would consider a standard size flashlight and you can see putting them next to each other just how small the baton 3 pro is it's not only a lot shorter but it's also a lot skinnier and for being so much smaller and lighter a lot of the specs are very similar between the two all right so let's go ahead get this light out at night and see how it does all right guys here we are with the baton 3 pro at night let's go ahead and start out in moonlight mode and you can see that even though this is half a lumen it's still clearly usable let's move up in the low mode all right, and there's low mode. Let's go ahead and move up into medium mode. All right, and that was medium. Let's go ahead and go into high mode. All right, and this is high mode. You can see that this is starting to get really bright. All right, let's double tap into turbo mode. All right, and you can see just how bright that is for such a small light. That's some crazy output. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and triple tap into strobe mode for just a second. All right, guys, that strobe mode is super bright and disorienting. All right, and here I just wanted to show the differences again between the cool and the neutral white at nighttime. So I got both of these lights in high mode. Let's go ahead and turn on the cool white. All right, and you can see that color profile. Let's go ahead and turn on the neutral white now on the left. All right, now you can clearly see the differences between the two. That neutral white is a ton warmer than the cool white. It's a really clear difference. So overall opinions, I really like this flashlight. It's so small and lightweight that it can easily disappear into a pocket, but it still has a significant lumen output. And some of the technology you get, like the timer and the hidden proximity sensor, just makes this a really great EDC flashlight. So anyway, guys, be sure to check out the OFAN Day. They have some really good deals running, not just on this flashlight, but all the lights on their site. And remember, even if you miss the sale, you can still get 10% off anything on the OLED web store using the coupon code APARMS. That'll be in the description as well. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Ring the bell to be notified of all my future uploads. And I'll see you later.